up, everybody? Here is part two. This is, again, has been the avalanche of Joes the past six weeks here uh, for the classified line. I just had Cobra video. Now I'm going to go through the Joes that we've seen hit. Uh, I hope you guys were able to pick up any of these figures that you were looking for. But let's basically, again, what I'm going to do is just a quick once over of the figures, just what I like about them, uh, what I think is cool, uh, you know, go from there. But I think uh, overall, this wave of figures, I mean, from where we started with Classified to where we're at now, um, just huge, huge improvement in seeing what we have for the figure. So, uh, again, I do have the Steel Corps. They're the Steel Brigade to me. Look, I'm going to call them Steel Brigade because that's what they are to me. That's what they'll be. Um, it was part of the G.I. Joe line back in the day, so kids could join the Joe line. So um, I'm going to probably call them Steel, Br <laughs> Steel Brigade, even though they're supposed to be Steel Corps. Um, but hey, they're my toys, and I do what I want. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's start with the figure that I just really got in yesterday, and this is uh, G.I. Joe Classified Tripwire. Uh, he also comes with McLeod and... Absera and Absera, I'm gonna hopefully I said that name right. If not, um, it is a little rat. Let's see, the detail that they were able to get on this little rodent is absolutely amazing. She has a little harness, um, and I guess they use rats to help smell out explosives. Pretty cool. Uh, this is McLeod, so this is a bomb disposal robot which is a pretty cool item itself it does come with a articulated arm uh the tracks and all of that does not move but uh the arm does which is still pretty cool um and with that you will also get a remote control for that um and then tripwire also comes with different vests that you can use so this is just basically they peg on they have the mushroom pegs that peg right on uh this one if you've ever seen the movie the hurt locker this is what it really reminds me of with the helmet and everything um it is pretty cool but that is the other loadout that you can use for tripwire the other accessories he comes with of course is he does come with two mines to focus there it's pretty cool uh it does have a peg on the back because you can peg the mines into his backpack as you can see there they peg right in there's a little hole right there that allows you to peg the mines right in um, he also comes with the mine detector which does have this hose here uh, it does plug into the backpack and then go into his hand which is still pretty cool um, both of the helmets do come off uh, this one they are of the softer plastic so it makes it pretty easy to get on and off as I'm saying that trying to get it off and then making myself look like a fool doing it uh once I get it over his nose okay maybe I lied it's not okay there we go um they are a softer plastic so you do get a look at tripwire's face which is pretty good uh this neck piece does come off just pop his head off as well too the vest again they're held on by dumbbell pegs uh so this does come off so you can take that off he also does come with a sidearm which does have a holster, so kind of like a 1911 type handgun 45 maybe. Um, but still pretty cool, comes with a number of accessories. Again, helmets seem to be just the only thing that I'm struggling with while I'm trying to do that on camera. Uh, but overall, really cool figure. Uh, next up, let's go with Tunnel Rat. So I move him over here. Oh, and Tunnel Rat. This is a nice homage to uh, the 30th or the 25th anniversary. Uh, he does come with these night vision goggles, which are pretty great. They just strap on right over the head. Uh, let's go ahead and get a look at his head sculpt and the paint detail on that is awesome. Uh, he does come with a, what I'm assuming is like a 357 Magnum. Uh, of course, the ammo belt, he does come also with a pouch. Uh, he does have a knife here sheathed on his side. Of course, the backpack, pretty nice detail on that as well, too. The flashlights do pop out, so you can pop these in. Just like the uh, OG figure came with the Real American Hero, he does come with an M60-ish type of rifle. Um, looks a lot like what we received with Rock and roll. This one does come with a scope, though. Um, but again, Nikki, 
uh, trip or I'm sorry, tunnel rat uh, is just loaded for bear. Um, absolute awesome figure. Great sculpting detail work on the pants. I mean, it is. It just looks like that 25th anniversary version of Tunnel Rat. It's really cool. I can't wait to see the uh, Night Force version, um, which we've seen the renders for already. But just to be able to mix and match and build out that perfect Tunnel Rats. What I think a lot of us are hoping to do. Next up is Big Ben. Uh, David Big Ben Bennett. And this figure is an absolute home run. I love the bandoliers across the chest. I love this kind of heavier duty coat. Um, of course, he does have the Union Jack. If I can get it to focus, come on. Work with me here, camera. Okay, maybe not. There. Oh. There we go. Nice paint app there. He also has this, which I know Linnea talked about in the past as well, too. Um, he does come with this saw type of weapon, which is really cool. He also comes with an AR style double barrel weapon, um, which is pretty cool. But I think for me, I'm going to keep the, the big boy with Big Ben. Uh, he does also come with the machine pistol. That's still pretty cool. It does come with a silencer on it as well. Um, I think I might look for a different gridiron gun to swap that one out with as well but overall he is an amazing figure you do also get a swappable head i mean you actually pull off the head and neck for big ben uh, and then this just pops in where that neck peg does uh, it doesn't have the uh, the um, dumbbell joint that goes up from the neck to the head because this is all one piece um, but it'll allow you to swap Big Ben into a troop builder type of figure um, but overall I'm really digging this great head sculpt love the toque that he has on as well too uh, but overall I think he's just another home run figure next up let's look at Tiger Force Flint or as I like to say Flint with the smoky eyes. Uh, this is the Tiger Force version of Flint. I do, I don't know how much I really like the paint over the eyes. Um, I get that it's supposed to be part of the Tiger Force camouflage. I don't know. I still need to really think about that. I do like the Tiger Stripes though on the shirt. I think that's pretty cool. I like the pants. This is a complete repaint of the original Flint. Um, you do get Rakondo's rifle with this, of course, and then the Kukuri type blade machete that comes with Rakondo as well, too. Um, you do also get the Nerf shotgun that the original Flint came with, um, but I do like the paint apps on that. Overall, if there's been one Tiger Force figure that really didn't make me go, wow, it, it's this Flint. But I think if I swap out, I have an extra Flint head. I'm going to swap it out with this one and then put his black beret on. I think I might really like this figure. I do like the inclusion of the um, the machete and then, of course, uh, Rakondo's rifle as well, too. Um, but I might look to uh, maybe add a different shotgun down the road for it but overall i mean it is tiger force i think it's a line that i was not uh a big fan of as a kid but i've kind of grown to love as an adult so you know we'll have to see uh and then finally let's talk steel brigade corpse whatever you want to call them steel troopers I'm so tired of that all right but these are the troop builders I have to admit, I was never really a big fan of troop builders for the Joes. Um, and my only thought was, these are all specialized troopers. And in my play world, the Joes were always outmanned and outgunned to Cobra. That's what made them so much cooler as to why they could win the battles that they did. But when Hasbro did launch the Steel Brigade, where kids could send away for these figures and then, of course, name them... Uh, for themselves and then create their own code names. I completely get it. It made us part of the Joe line as well, too. Now, with all of that said, 
just the coolness factor of these figures. I, I'm loving these. Um, it's a nice throwback to the 30th, and I want to say maybe... No, it would have been the 30th, and then the, just the last line of the Joes that came out uh, in the 118th scale. Um, but the head sculpt on these helmets are just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, this is complete reuse of the beachhead body for the male. You do get these uh, extra shoulder pads on, which they do kind of give him more bulk uh, across. Uh, you can take these off, and it does to me at least, uh, make him look a little bit less like a linebacker in the NFL and more like just a trooper. Um, but I'm digging the, get that to focus here. The secondary vest here, of course, the knife does sheath in right there. Uh, does have his like smoke grenades uh, down to the waist and the belts with all the pouches. Uh, he does come with, of course, a sidearm which is the standard Joe sidearm that we've seen for a number of the figures. Uh, the pouches on the sides as well, too. And again, this is really just complete reuse. The weapons that you see have come with a number of different Joes. Uh, you do have this assault rifle that you see here that does have, like, the grenade launcher on it as well, too. Or shotgun, maybe, uh, which would kind of correspond to those shotgun shells. Um, does have some paint apps with it. Of course, they do come with their magazines. There's also, oops, this rifle as well, too. Love the paint apps. It does come with a silencer, which can be used on the different guns, uh, but still really cool. Uh, and then, of course, you do get the different, and I've got the drops. He's terrible today. You do get the different helmets. Uh, these are just head swaps okay that's it there we go try one more time here we go um but i'm gonna i almost wonder if these are the flying masks uh or helmets i should say and then they have their regular helmets but um i think i prefer the blue uh over these these are still pretty cool uh and then of course the gi joe jet pack this is iconic that's you can see it's the jump does have the American flag. You do also get these blast effects for them. Of course, it does just peg right here in the back for the figure. There we go. So it allows him to fly around. You can use uh, some of those Marvel stands that Hasbro had, or if you have any other flying stands as well. You do get a ton of blast effects. These are the same blast effects that we've seen uh, come with all of the other troop builder sets um, i'm not going to get too in depth with those um, and then of course here is the female steel brigade and again she is all reuse of parts uh, lady j's lower body oh, i want to say maybe scarlet's upper body uh, she does have the single jointed elbows and arms which um, now that we've went to double jointed it's kind of different to see but i'm okay with it being just a troop builder um, but I think for a female figure, she looks great. Uh, she does have the same secondary with the knife sheath here as well, too. Um, same sidearm as the male trooper and just decoed all just the same. So, uh, wasn't a big fan of the troop builders, but I have to say I'm glad I did pick up one of these sets. I may go back and pick up another one. Uh, now that I have them in hand, uh, I think they're just kind of cool to have. Uh, but overall, I will say this. So I've reviewed my Cobras and I've reviewed my Joes. Um, and I have to say, between the two waves, this is still great. I love Big Ben. I love Tripwire. I love the, the Steel Brigades. And, of course, uh, Tunnel Rat is a home run for me as well, too. But I think between the two sets of figures that I've reviewed, I, I think I do prefer the Cobra. And not just because it's Buzzer. And the Dreadnoughts, but um, I just think the Range Viper and the Snow Serpent just really kind of help that wave set off. And then, of course, Firefly as well, too. So, But hey, these have been just my quick reviews of the mountainous amount of figures that we've all had hit. It's crazy to think um, all of these figures hit at once. I guess it was like 
you got what a year's worth of figure in, in six months um so hopefully as we roll into 2024 we'll still see a steady stream of figures but maybe not as much as we've seen before uh the holidays but i hope you guys are all having a great day night evening wherever you're at on the island misfit toy collectors and more importantly yo joe